Note. The procedure shown in this video is for a mechanically similar notebook in the HP ProBook 400 series. The procedure for this notebook is identical. Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, remove the battery and both service doors. Removal. Remove the three 6mm P1 Phillips head screws identified with the keyboard icon on the base enclosure. Turn the notebook right side up and open the display panel fully. Slide the keyboard towards the front of the notebook to release it. Using your finger or a flat bladed non-marring tool, gently lift up on the rear edge of the keyboard and slide the keyboard towards the rear of the notebook to release the tabs at the front of the keyboard. Important: Do not lift the keyboard further away from the notebook than necessary to access the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and remove the keyboard ribbon cable. Important: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Note. On backlit keyboard models, an additional ribbon cable would be removed from the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board in the same fashion. Remove the keyboard. Replacement. Place the keyboard on the top cover so that the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector are accessible. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important: Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Note: On backlit keyboard models, an additional ribbon cable would be installed into the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board in the same fashion. Carefully tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the keyboard into the top cover and press the keyboard flat. Slide the keyboard towards the rear of the notebook to re-engage the locking tabs underneath. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the three 6mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the keyboard to the notebook. Continue the reassembly. Replace both service doors and battery.